Hello. As you know, we are working on a villa project from scratch to end by covering all aspects of quantity surveying. And in the past episode, we covered the important things like history of quantity surveying, pathway to become a quantity surveyor, document checklist of a quantity surveyor, and feasibility study. I hope you have already watched those episodes. And today, in the fifth episode, we we'll talk about the important thing preliminaries. The prelims are the cost for the site specific overhead of any given project. It is the section in a BOQ that provides the description of a project, general condition, requirement and facilities etc. There are more, we'll talk about it. The prelims are divided into two major components, information and requirement and pricing schedule. And there are several rules of measurement document like NRM1, NRM2, POMI and NEC etc. But for the sake of this villa project, our prelims are defined by NRM2. Now I will demonstrate the typical content of our preliminaries document. So without any delay, let's get started. In project particulars, we need to state the detail of a project like name, nature, location and length of a contract etc. In drawing, we need to mention the drawing detail, architecture, structure, mechanical and other documents. Site and existing building, we need to describe the site area. Detailed description of the work, form of contract title needs to define like FIDIC, NEC and GCT etc. Employees requirement, provision, content and use of document. Management of a work, quality standard and quality control. Security, safety and protection. Specific limitation on method, sequence and timing. Site accommodation, services, facilities and temporary work etc. Employees requirement, operation, maintenance and finished building. Pricing schedule is divided into two major parts. Employees requirement and main contractor cost item. And the first one is site accommodation. It includes furniture, equipment, telecommunication and IT system. It's fixed and time related charges. The second is site record. It includes web based information management system. And third one is completion and post completion requirement. Management and staff. It's fixed and time related cost. Then site establishment. It includes offices, meeting room, IT room, first aid room. So furniture, some of them are fixed and time related cost. Temporary services like water supply, gas, electricity and telecommunication etc. Security, including equipment, staff and fencing and gate etc. Safety and environmental protection includes safety program, barriers and safety scaffolding etc. Control and protection. It includes survey, inspection and monitoring etc. Mechanical plant, tower crane, mobile crane etc. Temporary work like dismantling and removing from site. Site record like camera purchasing, printing, photography etc. Completion and post completion requirement include testing and commissioning plan, handover, post completion services etc. Cleaning, maintenance of road, path and paving etc. Fees and charges, it's fixed and time related cost. Temporary work that are not specific to an element, it could be fixed and time related charges. Insurance, bonds, guarantees and warranties etc. It's all fixed and time related charges. That was just a quick idea about preliminaries. I hope it gives you enough understanding. But there are a lot to learn about quantity surveying. In the next episode, we will start directly with the measurement and BOQ. So if you have any question or a feedback, please drop it in the comments below. See you in the next video. Till then, stay connected and keep learning.